Good morning. I'm sitting here thinking about what I want to tell you about psychotherapy, other than the fact that I love it. I want to begin, though, by catching up just a little bit on something I left out about race, and that is very important and has been called to my attention. And that is that many times we experience hearing and those of you who are involved experience it. The black on black crime. It seems that the black community is one of the only cultures where the heroes are using the N word and using nasty terms for the women and where the culture is one in which the family has to a certain extent broken down with the women usually being the ones that raise the children without their father's constant influence and the amount of shooting and drugs and gangs that develop in that community are as much a threat as the black and white issue. And this has been called to my attention as a very serious problem. And I just wanted to mention it to you and ask for your uh, thoughts and, and in your meditations, um, allow yourself to just grant the, the wishes for that to stop. Now about psychotherapy. There are all kinds of psychotherapy. And the kind that I enjoy the most involves working with people who are sorting through things to do with their identity, their purpose in life, and their destiny. I think that's part of why I say that I like working with people in the second half of their lives. So that would be 50 and above, hopefully. And I also say that I'm welcoming younger people who are serious about looking at some of the issues in their lives that have to do with the organization of their lives, their goals, and some of the principles that they want to live by. In my psychotherapy, I do use a combination of very active experiences, and that's what I call my experiential work, with some contemplative experiences, which is basically learning from within you and within the silence. So our sessions will involve a combination of those two methods, um, helping to integrate with you your various parts, not just taking the mental part. So mental health, in a way, is a little bit of a misnomer. It's physical, mental, social, spiritual. And the spiritual is a mystery to some people. And it is something that is often not explored in psychotherapy. But I can tell you, since the time of the coronavirus starting, I have had what is called trending of issues around spirituality with my clients. It seems that the crisis has drawn a person closer to their desire to find meaning in life beyond just this earth and this nature and the human aspects of living and to look for uh, realms beyond that. So in my psychotherapy, I am delighted to explore wherever you, the therapist, the client relationship goes, the whole issue of spirituality as it manifests in your life. And as I just said, I do view the person as a whole with all the different aspects of a person. And I talked in my article about the old days and how therapy was considered to be an analysis and looking at your own consciousness and various 
lax of communication between the therapist and the client and my therapy is very interactive and it's um it's probably something that you could get from a friend except that there are certain professional skills that we have been taught as therapists and also i have to say that it matters that i've had over 30 years experience hearing people bear their soul to me and the other thing i can tell you is i don't tell a soul so you could be someone i know in one setting and you could be someone that comes to see me in my setting and there would never be a word mentioned uh, between those two to make it a conflict i do not even tell my best friends or my family members anything about who comes to see me and what their issues are i encourage the exploration of your happiness i think that along with being normal which we all have the desire to be in a certain way we want to be extraordinary we want a life full of meaning and often that only comes after retirement that you only find your true and real identity after you finish with raising your family having your job having the job finish and you are able to focus on who you really are and what your destiny is and much of life's meaning comes after those years of putting in your time at work so i'd like to tell you about the setup that some of us use with the uh different clients some see me once a week for an hour and that's pretty much the standard in most situations however some people kind of like an attorney retain me and when something is going on that they need sorting out they'll call and say i need a session and we schedule something and we work for an hour maybe maybe two and then that person goes on their way until they decide that there is something else that they want to use my skills in setting up uh exploration of a certain issue and some kind of plan of action so it's not about mental illness for me uh it is more about wellness and more about destiny and more about purpose in life and again the contemplative part i have gotten a great deal of help on from various people in my life i mentioned some in the credits and i have had so many people who have helped me through my own therapy and getting to know my own self that i feel i'm bringing to you a very clear in that time i have my own problems outside but in that particular time i can anchor down into a very clear source for concentrating on you and your needs so i just wanted to explain therapy because i've been talking a long time about different aspects of therapy but i never have really taken the time to invite you to pr- proceed to use some of the opportunities that you have for therapy and because i do not use insurance and do not have to report to anyone all of your data we'll say is very private it's completely confidential there is of course always when you are using virtual uh means a little chance of mm, some hacking in a little chance of it's very slim but a little chance of your privacy being less than if you were in the office however it's our time during this virus and i feel that we are in some ways those of us who are striving to 
live right and to explore our place in life, there is sort of a protection if we will just trust it. And so that's my place to stop today. And I look forward to approaching a different topic next week. And I want to say that I appreciate the ability on these Wednesday mornings to come into your home. It means a lot to me. I love my work and I love doing what I'm doing here. And I want to thank you again 